I want to share with you what one month of progression looks like in Palea. Now, when I say one month, I'm only about 28 days in, only playing maybe two to five hours a day. But lately, the past week, I've been barely playing at all. I log in, I do my crops and machines, and I log out. So let me show you what kind of progress you can expect to get in that amount of time of casual playing. I didn't know life this game. I didn't play 24-7. I didn't cheat, I didn't hack, I didn't do anything of the sort. And this is from the perspective of a solo player, from a solo MMORPG player. So I don't do the roleplay stuff, I don't do the house decoration stuff, I didn't spend any time on that. You can see the house here, completely barren and empty, there is zero anything in here. Also, I didn't really spend time on leveling up the NPCs except for getting certain items from them. Now. My girlfriend at the same time started playing for about 28 days as well, and she focused entirely on that side of the game. So uh, I'm going to talk about that progress as well. So if you were to focus on one or the other, I just focused on min-maxing storage and getting all the tools and making as much money as possible and min-maxing my finances in the game. So let's uh, let's show that off. Obviously, um, if you haven't seen it, I did make a video that was only two weeks in where I show everything that I had. Two weeks in, I had all of the exquisite tools. That's pretty easy to get. Uh, so I'm not going to talk about that stuff. So here's my skill levels for one month in level 32 fishing. And yes, there was one time where I no life fishing. I spent like 10 hours of my entire life just fishing nonstop. So this is a little higher than most normal players will have. Cooking. Now, I'm a solo player. Cooking is actually a lower level than most players because most players are not solo players. So they do what's called cooking parties where they all cook celebration cakes. You know, they invite like eight people to a server. They all go over to someone's house and mass cook. So those people have like level 70 to 80 cooking. I don't because I don't do that. I, I don't like group stuff. It's just, it bothers me. There's something wrong with me. I don't know what it is, but just I don't fit in with people. So I just don't bother to like ever invite myself to cooking parties. 33 gardening. Uh, this would be higher, but I want to talk about gardening for a little bit. For about a week or two now, I've had a bugged garden, and, and let me tell you what it is. So this plot here bugged out. I can't remove it. I can't till it. There's there's technically crops here. They're fully grown, and they're buffing the apple trees, but I can't touch them. I can't see them. And the reason why is that if you stack all the squares in a plot to level 99 fertilizer, and they mature that day, then it will disappear. And I'm still waiting on Singularity 6 to fix it. But uh, I, I honestly kind of stopped gardening. Like, I still have, like, grown carrots here. There's a, there's some tomato or there's some onions that, that are fully grown. I'm not even touching the gardens anymore. So that should be a higher level than, than 33. Mining, I barely touched because I figured out that you can just buy the bars to be more time efficient. So this is very low. Hunting is relatively high. I enjoy hunting in this game quite a lot. So it is... Higher than most players might have. Bug catching, I don't like it. I got it to level 10. I did a little bit more of it, and uh, I haven't touched it since. I just do not care. Uh, foraging is... In, I did this all before the patch. There was a patch that buffed fishing and foraging to increase the rate at which it levels up. Uh, also mining, by the way. They, they buffed mining experience, and so these are all kind of lower than what they should be. Furniture making... I haven't really pushed this at all. I just don't care. I, I kind of want to get it to 10 just so that everything's above level 10. But I just I just can't be bothered. I really, really can't. So let, let's look at the other progressions real quick. And uh, just I just want to check something here. No one fulfilled requests. Okay. So let's go to the accomplishments. And uh, these are weeklies. Anything that has a medal resets every week. So this expires in 3 hours, 33 minutes. And uh, you can see, like, I, I don't even bother doing the magical trees or the magic creatures. It's just not worth my time. I don't care. Precious metals, same thing, whatever. Let's let's talk about money. I rushed making money in this game as fast, as, as efficiently as possible. I I can I can break this. Uh, I only need 15k more. I can, I can immediately sell stuff that I have stored up and get over 1 million. Easy. This is very easy to do. And um, <laughs> so, so just consider this one million. One million gold per month is um, is what you can expect in this game. 
As far as Renown, well, this does slow down after you stop questing, and honestly, I haven't done much questing. I'll talk about the relationship status later, but 5k a month, that's that's acceptable, I guess, and it, again, it slows down, so I can't really tell you what you'll be making two to three months from now. Uh, as far as levels, we talked about skill levels, so I'll skip all of that stuff. Weekly Challenge Conqueror, I don't even bother. Uh, I don't do the NPC stuff, so that's why these are still kind of low. Again, don't, don't look at me for that stuff. I'm not a collector. I don't really care about getting all the collection stuffs in this game. But even without trying, I've gotten most of the bugs. And, um, yeah. Sometimes. I mean, again, I'm not I'm barely bug catching at all. As far as fish goes, I just fish in ponds for money. I don't really fish elsewhere. Sometimes I do. You can see it's still mostly completed. Except for this one. Oh, man. Uh, this one's never getting done. Well, I, I've uh, I figured out that the, the certain rarest epic fish is a 1% drop. And for you to fit, you get like one or two fish from a fishing node. If you're lucky, you get two. And, uh, for, you know, it's a 1% chance per node. You're going to, this is going to take months to complete. So don't even, don't even expect to ever finish that. Makeshift, I don't, uh, because I, the, I fish from ponds. Ponds of Glowworm does not drop makeshift chests. So this is mostly incomplete. You could also buy these. Uh, from Tisha's store sometimes they appear there randomly. That's another way to get that. I don't really care for that though, so I'm not doing it. You can see I still don't have, you know, the tier 3 magical creature drops because I don't do it. I just simply don't. I don't care. Uh, as far as chef goes, uh, my girlfriend helped me complete this one, so that's done normally. Like, I don't even have some of this food unlocked. I just, I, like, I don't have catfish. I don't have any of the, the special ones. Where is it at? Um, like, Bully, uh, you have to do the, the bundles to get this food, and I just, I don't have it. And this is gonna expand, I think, um, it might actually already be expanded by the time you watch this video when the patch comes out. Focus, um, I've only eaten 300k worth of focus, and I always eat when my focus goes low. So you can expect 300k focus a month, so, uh, cook accordingly. Again, I don't do the, the furniture crafting, so we're just gonna ignore all that. Uh... You know, I do a lot of gardening, so carrots, onions, potatoes, tomatoes, all these. They're they're basically all done except blueberries. Just two more blueberries. If my garden would unbug, I can swap to blueberries because mathematically, someone has done the math and um, preserving blueberries is the best food in the game for cost and time efficiency. So there we go. I would like to make, to make a video on that, but I can't make any gardening videos because my garden's bugged. Weed Whacker. Again, this would be completed if my garden didn't bug out two weeks ago. I just, I don't grow weeds because um, <laughs> the, the current configuration I'm stuck with doesn't allow it. So this would be done a thousand weeds a month, you can expect. Bug catching, again, you can easily beat this a thousand bugs a month if you just play casually. Uh, tree chopping. Hey, what the heck? <laughs> oh, a thousand five hundred trees. Yeah, I don't chop a lot of trees. Uh, I don't craft, brewing, I don't have any of the friendship stuff. I'll talk more about that in a bit and what you can do and, and can uh, complete. But yeah, that's it for achievements. So here's, here's me as an MMORPG player where I don't do the relationship stuff at all, except to get certain drops. So I did assure is so I could get more of the enchanted trees. That's the only reason. Uh, Ani, uh, I just happened to do it while leveling bug crafting t to 10. That was pretty basic. Uh, Bad Drew, I leveled him up for apple tree seeds. Uh, I don't remember why I leveled her up. I think it was for blueberries, possibly. I forget. I, I haven't really touched cha Chain. Lila also gives you some kind of seed, I think. I forget. Maybe I'm wrong on that. Einhar, I leveled him up for fishing, but it turns out uh, he doesn't do anything. Uh, again, a lot of these are just level 2 or 3. Hussein's still level 2, even though I hunt like crazy. Hecla, you know, if I could go back, I would level Hecla up because apparently her voice actress is uh, Asuna from Sword Art Online. So Hecla, top tier waifu. <laughs> I'm not joking. Hodari, um, again, I haven't leveled him up. Gel, level three. Some I don't know why. I think it's because my character's always out at three a.m. So I just talk to him when he's out walking along the coast. Dina level three. Kenley level three. Kenyatta level three. Level two. Romance. I don't even remember doing that. Interesting. Uh, Nao 3, Najuma 2, Ref 3, Saifu 3, Tamala 2, Tish 3, and Zeki 3. Zeki also gives, I believe, apple tree seeds, and you can dupe them at one point. So, again, it's something it, like if you want to rush apple trees, then you have to do like Zeki, Badru, 
um, those two get them to level three. But uh, here's the thing now. If, you, if I actually played every day and a little bit more hardcore like my girlfriend has, she is level four with every character except three. I think. I think she's not level three or level. I'm sorry. She's level four with every character except three of them. I think it's Hecla, Tamala, and Najuma. I think those are the only ones she has left to level up to complete maximum. So it's com it's possible to max out all of their levels in under a month. Very very possible. So let's look at housing now. Uh, so obviously, in my two week video, I already shared that I had the 10k storage. You know, it's or it's, it costs 100k. 125k total to get your storage up to 10k. You got the uh, the three uh, lockbox chests. That's simple enough. Uh, also, focus. Let's talk about focus a bit and renown. So I have focus bonus at 100%. That's as high as it currently gets. And uh, focus maximum 650. I haven't bothered to push it above 650 since I currently use pickled potatoes. They only give 400, so I just eat those every once in a while. I have no reason to go beyond 650 for now. For Ritz... I have, this is this is where, where I currently have it unlocked. I have, what is this, like three rows fully done. And I have four writs so I can unlock another row. I'll just go ahead and do that real quick. There we go. Now, your building limit. Oh, there we go. You've unlocked 19 expansions. All right, cool. So, uh, building limit, 14 out of 15. Let's talk about that. The current configuration I use for the housing is you have the, the, the main one, the harvest house. I have a hallway. And then I have six large rooms, two mediums, two smalls, and two hallways, and they all have a fireplace add-on. Now, all the fireplace add-on does is increase your plot value number. That's it. So, like, if I take away, we're at 227, 224. If I take away fireplace, it drops down to 223, 24. Now, the cool thing about fireplaces is that they do not increase your building limit, but everything else does. So if I take uh, away a fireplace and close the menu and open the menu, because it does take a little bit of time, building limit still 14 out of 15. If I add a hallway, close it and reopen it, it's a building limit 15 out of 15. Now, interesting enough, when your building limit is 15 out of 15, guess what? You can't place fireplaces anymore. You'll see building limit reached. So that's that's kind of a bug, right? Even if I take another, away a fireplace and then try to place it back, again, it won't let me. So by keeping your build limit 14 out of 15, you can place as many fireplaces as you want. And uh, all the other building types, uh, you know, small, medium, large, and hallways, all count as your, towards your building limit of 15. But uh, fireplaces can be attached to every end of a building. And um, I don't know if um, this is the maximum number of fireplaces you can technically place. Because if I removed a hallway here and then put another room, I could connect three more fireplaces. But then it's... It's not symmetrical. It's not even, right? And um, the way I have the house set up is to maximize the ability to get to every room as fast as possible. So here's the main room, hallway, and then you can see that these two large rooms connected, these two connected, these two connected, also connected to the media room, the small room, and the hallway. So if I were to fill this with stuff, I can get in and out of the house insanely fast, as efficient as possible. If at some point, this, the only reason I did this I don't care about the housing, I don't care about decorations or any of that kind of stuff, because here, here's the, the raw truth of the matter. Back in the early, like, years ago, when Paleo was just a concept, the devs were like, you know what we don't like about Animal Crossing, or, you know, those types of games, is that if you have a couch, and you put your couch in your house, it doesn't do anything. The couch is just to look at. How about we make a game where certain furniture items will give you a buff to your character's performance and limit that so that people have to work together for certain things. So, for instance, you could have a couch and a table and a, and a kitchen and a, and a wall-mounted thingy, and they will all give you a buff to hunting, like your, your movement speed or your attack speed or your bow draw speed or something, just a tiny little, a little buff. And so what it does is it incentivizes a player who wants to specialize in hunting to fill up an entire house full of hunting stuff or hunting themed stuff. And then once they have all of the hunting themed stuff, it can go out and hunt with a huge like gathering bonus, a huge attack damage and speed bonus. And they're really, really good at hunting. But what about if they want to fish? Well, that's where the other slots come in. You buy these expensive ass slots and then you craft and make the furniture for fishing so that you fish faster 
you have better fishing abilities, etc, etc. And what this will do is this will combine the hardcore MMORPG player who wants to min-max their trade skills like me, and then it will allow us to play alongside the cozy gamer girl gamers that, you know, play this game and make pretty houses and decorate their kitchen and make everything symmetrical and make all the colors match and stuff like that. And so that would bridge the gap between the two player bases of games. And because it's free to play and for Nintendo Switch, it would allow, you know, more people to play their game and then, you know, buy the cosmetics or whatever. But currently, the game is still in beta, and furniture doesn't do nothing, okay? If I go to my furniture right now, I don't get buffed for putting it down. Like, I can go to my furniture. Like, I got a bunch of furniture here. Like, this homestead large dresser. Right now, it does nothing. I can put this down in the house. And, wait, why do I have a trophy? What did I get? Oh, silver plot size. Look at that. I got a trophy. It doesn't do anything. Why do I care? Right? And so, oh, look, I put a dresser down. Wow. Wow. This is so cool. I got a dresser now. Right? It doesn't do anything. It doesn't help me hunt faster. It doesn't help me fish faster. It doesn't let me gather more garden materials. So I don't have a, a point to have it, right? And uh, it, it's just useless to me. Yeah, it's a decoration. It, 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 again, I'm, I'm the type of gamer where if this doesn't do anything, I have no point for it. Almost even in real life. Like, I, I get it. Like, people like to hang up stupid decorations like, live, laugh, love on their wall. And I'm like, bro, that doesn't do anything, okay? Why do you have that decoration? It doesn't do anything. And so, yes, in real life, I, I have a pretty barren life. Nothing on the walls. I have a $60 fold-out table from Walmart that holds my computer and my <laughs> keyboard and monitors. <laughs> you know what it does? It holds the computer, <laughs> you know, off the ground. But... <laughs> Anyway, so, you know, until the devs actually make furniture have a use, I don't really have a point for it, but at least the house is built and, and optimized for when that happens, if it happens. I don't know if it'll ever happen. I know the devs don't want to force people to use certain furniture for certain tasks, but at the end of the day, I'm already, it's been one month and I'm out of stuff to do. I am completely out of stuff to do. You know what I do? I log in, I grab what I can out of that, the garden that isn't bugged, I put them in the machines to turn them into money, I take these things and I fill them with mushrooms that I buy from the store, and uh, you know, this is like good for 30 hours, right? So I don't have to come back for 30 whole hours. And then I sell everything that it produces, and then I watch money down here go up. And so eventually, whenever there are things that are useful, I can buy them with the money that I have saved up, and then I can, you know, be more efficient. Well, I mean, imagine. What if they put out, you know, like, like there's a new, uh, the Magin Market that is coming out at the end of this month. It's a new little event, you can only do it at night for a certain number, I think for one month. And then it goes away or something. It's like a little, you know, event thing. Well, what if, instead of just useless decorations and stupid crap to put in your house that don't do anything, what if for one million gold, you could get a decoration that when you put it on your wall, it increases the speed of all these machines by 5%. I know that doesn't sound like a lot. 5% faster machines. Everyone would grind out their ass to, to buy that and put it on, in their house. Everyone would have that in their house. It would be like, bro, you have the 1 million, you know, wall clock that lets your machines go 5% faster? And it's like, yeah, yeah, I, I managed to get that. I did. And so people, gamers like me, would have an incentive to continue playing. But uh, just another gripe, because, I mean, this video basically ended a while ago. Also, I've just been randomly stacking bugs in case I need a staircase to, like, get on roofs and stuff. Also, just, just some more random rants before you go. Uh, <laughs> this game is a hacker problem. I mean, like, it's getting bad, okay? There are people that speed hack, they ESP, they teleport... I, I just want to share with you, like, I made a video where I spent s six hours, it was more than six hours, it was like 12 hours fishing, right? 12 hours of fishing in the water. That was my entire day. A hacker who activates a speed hack and activates a hack that automatically fishes for them. And, and let me just kind of explain how the hack works. When they fish, as soon as a fish bites the pole, they don't reel it in. They just go doop. And then it auto-catches the fish immediately. And they're doing this like 20 times faster due to the speed hack. So they can get through 1,000 glow worms in 5 minutes. 
That amount of worms would take me, like, 10 to 12 hours, okay? I can catch two fish a minute, okay? Those guys can catch a thousand fish in five minutes. That's, that's 200 fish a minute. I catch two fish a minute, they catch 200 fish a minute, and all they do is run a hack. They don't have to struggle and wiggle their mouse around and hold left click and cramp their wrists. They just immediately catch the fish, and so those, those guys have, like, level 80-something fishing, probably. I don't know. It's ridiculous, but also they have ESP, so they go get all the flow trees, they fly hack to them, they, like, chop them down immediately. Uh, they give themselves admin access and just spawn whatever they want. It, it's crazy just how broken it is, right? And, uh, I, I see these guys day after day in the Paleo Discord. They're hosting cake parties. They're not banned. I get that it's a beta, and maybe they want to keep the hackers around so they can fix the game before full release, and, and that's fine, I guess, but... The fact that hackers aren't even being talked about or, or anything. And uh, another rant, okay? There's a YouTuber. His name is Dane. And I've known him since New World. He's a New World, you know, YouTuber. He's a variety MMO creator, whatever. And uh, what he did was he took... He, he looked at the game's files, which were local. And uh, he, he leaked a bunch of uh, stuff. You know, he, like, he, he found a way to run the files into a program that turned them into a video or something. I don't know. I didn't see the video. But essentially, Singularity 6 copyright striked them. Now, I don't. if you're not a YouTuber, you may not be aware, but copyright striking is a nuclear option. That means, as a YouTuber, if you get three strikes, your livelihood is over. It's time to rope. It's, it's completely donezo, right? And uh, for someone like me, who uh, I don't have an education, I don't have capacity for education, if I lose my YouTube channel, my life is actually over, for reals. And so playing this game is has become a huge risk. A huge, huge risk. I have to watch what I say. I can't... Like, let, that could have been me, right? And yes, you need three strikes and you're out. And strikes take six to eight months or something to go away. But your monetization gets completely fucked uh, <laughs> during that. And so they just straight up striked him. They didn't, like, hit, they didn't, like, contact him and request him to take the video down. Which he would have. He's a reasonable dude. No, they just want the nuclear option immediately. Now, he contacted them, and I think it's been like four, three or four weeks, and, and they finally unstriked his channel. So, so they did do their, their, their part. Now, the thing is, the scary thing is that this happened once before in New World to another creator named Video Game Databank, who now goes by Kibbles. He's got an awesome channel, by the way. And uh, Amazon never unstriked that guy until Asmongold spoke up uh, in defense of him. And of course, everyone else did too at the time. But uh, it's scary out there, lads. It's really scary to make content for a game like this. I actually had a video uh, that I did put out. I had to redo it. I made a video on how the fastest way to farm stone. It did terrible. 10 out of 10 on YouTube, which means uh, no one watched it. It only got like 2,000 views, which is really crappy for a channel my size. And um, that was the, the second take of the video. The first take of the video was a little more real with real talk, but because Singularity 6 is copyright striking people over anything they might disagree with, I had to really watch what I said in that video. And so, um, you know, it turned from an actual good stone per hour method that you could do as a solo player into one that relies on going to Discord and seeking new players to party up with, which anyone with common sense can figure out how to do it without asking other people for help. But I, I'm not, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to throw away a YouTube channel to teach you how to save a couple minutes looking for another person if they don't approve of that type of video, which I'm not, I'm not going to ask them. I'm not going to, I'm not going to pull the trigger and take a chance. So uh, it's stuff like that that makes you just not want to make videos for this game anymore because it's really risky. But at the same time, I've covered basically everything there is to cover. It's just, it really sucks that, um, another rant too, is there's some other YouTubers that are clearly hacking the game because they showed off furniture sets that aren't even available to buy or craft in the game yet. There are certain furniture sets, and you could dig through the achievements, uh, dang it, you can dig through the achievements to, to see the furniture set names. Like, there's like alchem alchemical or something, I don't know, but... Hold on, let me see if I can find it. Uh, yeah, Alchemist Crafting. This is not in the game, this, to my knowledge. Unless it's like hidden secret quests or 1% chance in the Zeki shop or some shit. These are not available in the game. At all. But there, there are hackers, you know, and, and YouTubers showing off 
every furniture item in the game, and they're and they have an entire room full of the stuff, you know, showing it off, and it's like, how the hell did they get that? And especially when they're like, when they open the menu and their character's like level five, it's like, hmm, hmm, how did they? They just they just spawn that shit in. And finally, another rant is there's there's some YouTubers who are like baby channels. I'm talking. 5,000 subs, 20,000 subs, they, their monthly view count is barely 200,000, okay? And those channels somehow got access from Singularity 6 to play on a private server where the Magin market is active. So they're, show, they're able to show off to their audience content that is not even available to everyone else yet. And it's like, how did they get invited? Why did they get invited to that and not me? I don't understand that. I'm a much larger channel. I've got much more larger reach. I've got all of my stuff out in the open, and uh, they make no effort to contact me, no effort to do anything. But these little baby channels, what it makes me think of is, okay, like in New World, I've been online, a bunch of other games. A lot of these companies, they actually hire people to pose as YouTubers, especially Amazon was very guilty of this, right? Amazon actually paid people to pretend to be YouTubers like you and me and um, <laughs> and make content even though it's all in-house made uh, t to try to be like, oh, one of us. And then when it came time to promote videos, they would promote theirs. I mean, I'm talking, there was this one, like, Asian girl from New World, uh, who, she streams to, like, five people. Her YouTube channel maybe gets 500 views a month. And yet, uh, every, every other time there's a New World announcement, they shout her out and show off her videos. And it's like, bro, that, that's an industry plant, 100%. That is, that is, that is one of your wages, <laughs> making videos. Oh, it's so it's so funny, and th and that's kind of what I think maybe that Singularity Six might be doing, you know, with the Magic Market YouTubers that have like barely any subs or anything. I don't know, but I think it's a little bit unfair that that the larger creators, or maybe they, you know, they have a disdain for larger creators. Like, oh, the larger creators don't need more views. We'll give it to a baby channel, and, and you know that would be fine. It's whatever. I've been a baby channel multiple times, about seven or eight times now in my life. I know what it's like to be a little teeny teeny baby channel. I still think my channel is a baby channel, just because I've had much bigger YouTube channels in the past. Uh, this video has very, very much turned into ranting and gotten way off topic, and I tend to do that in my videos because um, it's. I, I look at my YouTube as a scrapbook, all right? I make the videos for me, I make the videos for a future version of me that forgets everything, and because when I don't touch a video game for a long time, and by a long time I mean like one to two months, I just forget everything about it. And so that's what my YouTube channel's for. It's to just kind of, I don't know, talk to myself because I have no one else to talk to. But with that said, that's my rants, and that's one month of progression in Paleo. Paleo is free to play. It'll be available for Nintendo, bleh, Nintendo Switch and the PC, not for phones. I know my audience keeps asking, oh, what about cell phones, bro? No. It's not available on phones. Get over it. Get a, get a gaming PC. All right. <laughs> With that said, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you made it this far, you already know to like the video and, and subscribe. <laughs> and uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Let me know. Here's the thing. I'm out of paleo ideas. I don't know what to cover. I can't cover gardening because it's currently bugged. And this could be months before they fix this. Months. I have seen one dev talk about it. And that was like three weeks ago. And I was like, damn, I hope that bug doesn't happen to me. And then, of course, the next day it did. Uh, but there's really no guides to make on bug catching or anything. Like, I've covered basically everything this game has, and uh, I'm starting Starfield soon. So, we'll, we'll see how that goes. That's a mainstream game. That's going to be hard to break into, man. Other than that, let me know what you want to see on Paleo. Let me know what you want to learn. It's going to be something useful. I'm not going to make a furniture guide, because furniture doesn't do anything. I'm sorry. I might make a... I might do a show-off of all the stuff you get when characters are level four uh I, i'll just have my girlfriend record her screen and talk over that that's simple enough so i guess look forward to that that's a reason to subscribe right there all the level four character rewards yay anyway i'll see y'all later sorry for the long-winded rant i'm trying to make this at least 30 minutes <laughs> uh so yeah yeah i got like 20 more seconds all right guys on the right side of your screen is a video you should absolutely click 
if you click it, then your house won't be invaded by ants. And I'm t if, if you don't click it, you're going to get invaded by, invaded by those really teeny tiny ants that are hard to see. And they are very violent ants that bite you and they sting real bad and they leave red blisters all over your skin. So you better click the video.